Hey guys, really quick before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support these past couple months. I've been trying to put out at least one video per week to show you guys some amazing jailbreak tweaks. We recently passed the 1000 subscriber mark and I also reached the 4000 watch time hours so that I could monetize my channel. Now. I'm going to go ahead and give back to you guys, so stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe because I do plan on doing more giveaways because I would not have been able to get here without you guys, without you guys smashing that like button and supporting me, subscribing. So I just wanted to give you guys a huge thank you and I look forward to all the videos in the future and I look forward to all of the new subscribers. I am aware that it is Mother's Day today, so happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Make sure you go ahead and tell your mom you love her. So without further ado, let me jump right into the actual video. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys five more awesome tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. First tweak I'm going to show you guys is called egg notch. As you can see, the top of the notch is blacked out so that it looks a lot more clean than normal. So if we jump into egg notch, you can go ahead and adjust the colors of the notch. So I think black looks the best. It just makes look everything blended in. You can also adjust the status bar text color to whatever color you want also, but black and white just seems to make it uh, look a lot cleaner in my opinion. If you jump into uh, different apps, especially apps with a lighter background, it just looks like how it should have looked from the beginning. However, I will show you guys real quick that you can change the colors. So if we wanna change it to green, just go ahead and tap apply changes. Once the device respring's, you'll notice that the notch is now green. It looks a little weird. But anyways, that one is called Egg Notch. It's a super simple tweak that allows you to adjust the color of the notch. All right, if we jump into the next one, it's called Quartz. And as you can see on my lock screen, all of my notifications look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and flip it over to dark mode. That's what it looks like on dark mode, a lot more rounded. If we wanna do a quick reply, it'll look a little different. So if I 3D touch on it, it kinda looks like uh, maybe iOS 10 or earlier versions of iOS. You can go ahead and jump into the settings of this tweak. It is a paid tweak. I believe it's only one or $2, but it's totally worth it in my opinion. It gives you a ton of customization, so you can go ahead and adjust the corner radius to adjust how the messages looks. There's also a little, almost like chat heads, it looks like. When you get a notification, it will come down in the corner right here. I'll go ahead and see if I can test that out real quick. All right, as you can see, when you get a little text, you get a little chat head, it looks like. You can tap on it and open it up. So it's kind of a unique little notification style that you can have on your device. But like I said, there's just a ton of settings in here. For your quick reply, you can do embedded, stock, or split. Split is the one that I was showing you. Let's go ahead and switch over to embedded. See if we can go ahead and reply. So it's going to require a respring, it looks like. So we'll go ahead and respring the device. It also does this little notification counter right there, total notifications. So if we want to go ahead and see what the embedded looks like, we can go ahead and have it touch on it. And that's what the chat box looks like now. 
But as I said before, you're going to have to go ahead and download this tweak and play around with it. I just think that the notifications look a lot cleaner with this tweak installed. I believe it is also $1 to $2. I can't remember exactly. But anyways, that one is called Court. All right, the next one I have for you guys is called Multiplay or Multipla. Not sure how it's pronounced, but it will allow you to customize your dock. So you got apps right here. You swipe over and you got your music. Swipe over again, you got your battery percentage. This will also show if you have an Apple Watch connected or AirPods or whatever. It'll also show those battery percentages. Your activity, I don't have my activity synced with this phone. Your weather, uh, little respring options, clear UI catch, LD restart, all that respring. And then back to your applications. So if we go ahead and jump into the settings of this tweak, you can go ahead and adjust the gesture. You can swipe up and down so that you can flip through the dock. I prefer swiping left to right. You can go ahead and select the widgets, what order they are in. This is the stock order. I think it's a pretty decent order. You can also long press on the dock to lock the application. So now it won't slide. If you long press on it again, it'll unlock it so that you can slide. You can adjust the page dots, you can adjust the widgets. There's a lot of settings for this tweak that you can apply, but I just think it looks really clean. It's pretty useful if you are just quickly wanting to swipe over and start playing your music or swipe over, check the weather without having to open up an application. Anyways, that guys, that one is called a Multipla. And I believe this tweak is also one to two dollars. All right, the next tweak I have for you guys is a free tweak. It is called Cask 2, and what it does is it will display a scrolling animation. So right now I have it set to color. So if I scroll, as you can see, it is colorizing. Let's go ahead and switch to dark mode and see how it looks. I just think the color one looks pretty freaking awesome. It will do it in pretty much all applications where scrolling is involved, except for maybe Facebook or Instagram or some of those applications where it's not really a specific list scrolling. But if we go ahead and change it to something else, let's go ahead and change it over to, let's do stretch. So we stretch, no restring required. If we scroll all the way down, that's what it looks like. You can also adjust the animation duration. So 333 MS is what I prefer. Let's go ahead and set it to 1250. It just makes it go a whole lot slower, but it does look extremely cool. Anyways, guys, that one is called Cask 2. It is completely free. I definitely recommend it. All right, and this last week that I have for you guys is MKT Bypass. It's supposed to be a Mario Kart Tour Bypass that is specific to Mario Kart. However, I have not been able to get it to work. I followed the instructions of uninstalling the application and reinstalling Mario Kart. I do not have any other bypass tweaks enabled for Mario Kart, even though the developer does say that you can use other bypass tweaks with it. However, there have been some users reporting that it's working for them but I cannot get it to work for me. But I figured I would still show you guys just in case you guys want to go ahead and download and try it to see if you can get your Mario Kart working. Hopefully in the future, Kern Bypass gets updated or future kernel jailbreak detection bypass tweaks are released so that we can just have one to rule them all. One bypass to rule them all for all those pesky Nintendo apps and Pokemon Go and banking apps and any other apps that feel the need to put jailbreak detection on their applications. Anyways, guys, that is the video. If you like the video, please remember to smack that like button. If you love the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.